In the last video, we switched two of the rooms in our house and moved the boys' bedroom over to this larger room that used to be the media room. So today's video will be like a part two to that video as we finish this room switch and focus now on setting up our media room over in the smaller room that was previously the boys' bedroom. Okay, so I'm going to start off by finishing up clearing out the boys' old bedroom. I still had to clear out their closet and clean the room before we could turn this into the media room. As I clear out this closet, I'm going to go through everything, declutter, and organize. So I took everything off of the shelves, put it all on the closet floor so I can sort through it all and see if there's anything I can get rid of before taking it all over to their new closet and organizing it into there. This closet was set up as their little play closet. It was so cute and probably my favorite space in their room. I added this little rug on the floor. I did these polka dots on the back wall. This was a super easy DIY project. I just took a round sponge, dipped it in black paint, and just did a random pattern of polka dots on the back wall. I had a black play sign in the middle, right where that blank space is, and then I had twinkle lights going underneath the shelves so they could turn off the light and just turn on the twinkle lights and it just made a really fun little space for them. But now they have so much more room over in their new bigger room for playing and activities and they are just loving it over there. It's been working out great and we're really glad that we made the decision to switch the rooms. Jalen is working at removing the middle shelf in this closet, but once he started removing it, he realized that he needed a couple more tools. So he headed out to get those. And while he's getting those tools, I'm just finishing up vacuuming the room. I should have dusted before I vacuumed, but I kind of forgot and just started vacuuming. So I vacuumed the entire room, the corners and everything. And then I dusted the baseboards, the ceiling, the corners, the windows, and the curtain rods. So the reason Jalen was removing that middle shelf in the closet is because he decided to put his whole computer setup in the closet. He just thought it would be a cozy space to set up all of that in there and have all of his lighting and build in the desk on the back wall. It turned out really awesome. You'll see at the end of this video. Originally he was going to put it on this back wall to the right of the window, but he just decided to instead put it in the space that used to be the closet. So I finished up the vacuuming and then I got started dusting. I'm using my full circle duster. I bought this from Grove Collaborative years ago. Really love it. You might be able to buy it at other places as well, but I'll put the link for it down below.
is a few little stains in this carpet that I need to work at getting out. Leave all of your tips and suggestions down below for getting stains out of carpet and your favorite products. It would be really helpful to hear all of your recommendations. I do have two different carpet cleaners in a spray bottle, but they don't always work, especially on stains that have been in the carpet for a little while like these have. So I'm open to hearing all of the tips and all of your favorite carpet cleaning products. finished removing that shelf and then went around inside the closet and around the bedroom and just removed any screws or nails that were left in the walls. Then he'll use this spackling to fill in all of the holes in the walls in the closet and then also out in the bedroom. Then I can get the wall paint for the closet and the bedroom and do all of the touch-up paint. There was also one spot out on the trim that I also had to do some touch-up paint on. The wall color in the room is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Williams. And then the white color in the closet, I think it was just our ceiling paint that the contractors just sprayed on the wall in the closet. So Jalen had to put some new texture on the wall just right here where he had pulled that shelf off and normally we would just use texture in a can to do little spots like this but he had gotten this new little gadget to try out for doing texturing on the wall and it actually worked really awesome and then once that had dried a little bit he just took this little um, tool to just smear over it and kind of knock down the texture a little bit and then let that completely dry before we painted. So now we are going to start moving all of the furniture into this room. It was so nice to finally get this furniture out of our living room. It had been stacked out here in the main area of the house for a couple of days, probably almost a week since we had switched the rooms around. So now that this room was clean and the paint was touched up, we could start bringing in this furniture and setting up this room as the media room. We are just using all of the same furniture and decor that we had over in the other media room. I did add a few new items, but those new items we already had on hand. We didn't want to have to buy any new items for this room. We left the same curtains and curtain clips and curtain rods in this room and the blinds. The blinds are from Lowe's. The curtains and the curtain rod and clips are all from Target. And then this light we were able to leave in here as well. We had thought about switching it out, but it ended up matching perfectly, so we just left it hanging in the room. Okay, so now that texture is dry and I'm starting to paint these closet walls. I figured Jalen probably wouldn't want to have a polka dot wall behind his computer desk. So this did take two coats of paint to cover up all of these black polka dots. But then I did also just do a quick coat of paint on the entire closet, just about halfway up because we had filled in so many different little holes on the walls. Thank you. 
okay it's the next morning and we were actually planning on going and painting the flip house on this morning we had woken up early there wasn't really a chance of rain so we thought it would be a great day to paint the flip house we woke up it was really cloudy and it started to pour the rain so our plans changed a little bit and we ended up just finishing up this room on this day so I'm just doing a bit of dusting I had to dust off this fiddle leaf fig tree dust off the console table and then we'll finish up the decorating stay tuned because here in a couple minutes you'll get to see how this little room turns out Jalen had to run through the rain to get his tools from his shop, as you can tell by his shirt, but he is just hanging up these three canvases right here when you first walk in the door. These are the same ones that we had over in the other media room. We had these on the wall right as you walked in the door over there. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby about a year and a half ago. Originally, I thought maybe I put them over on this wall where he's putting up the shelves, but because of the size of this window, it just wasn't going to work because these three canvases are the exact same height as the window. So it would just look funny to have three items that were like the exact same size as the window right beside of it. And then I thought about putting up a large canvas, but just with the large window that was kind of the same size over to the right, it just didn't look right. When you're putting things onto the wall, you kind of have to balance out the size of the windows and also the size of the other decor that you're putting on the walls. And so I figured a collage of items would probably look best over on this wall. So you saw me first off try to put that collage of those three different items with the wall hanging and the little picture and things. That just wasn't quite feeling right when I started to put it up. So we just decided to put these white shelves over here on the wall. This was just perfect and just helped to balance out all of the shapes going on in this room. These are the same white shelves that we had over Jalen's desk over in the other media room. So he's just finishing up getting his computer set up in this closet space. He has really enjoyed having it set up in here. It's just a very cozy, quiet space. He does gaming on this computer and then he also does flight related things like flight planning and studying, tests, different things like that. So it's just a great little quiet spot for that that's tucked away here at the back of the house. Okay, so before we end this video, just a quick tour of this little bonus room. When you first walk in the room, we put these canvases up here on the wall. I think we got these from Hobby Lobby back when we first did the media room over on the other side of the house. 
we had those right inside the door in that room and we just put them here on this wall right when you walk into this room. I put a basket and a blanket in the corner and then we've got the couch under the window here. And this is the same couch that we had over in the other media room. We just didn't bring over that big ottoman because this is quite a bit of a smaller room and that ottoman is really huge and it would just take up a lot of space in here. So I've just got this poof over here in the corner that we can pull up to the couch if we want something to put our feet up on. And this is the rug that I used to have over in the boys play closet, but I decided to just put it under the couch. It's probably a little bit small, but I think it'll work out great in here. I love the colors. This is from Boutique Rugs. I'll be sure and put a link for it down below. And then we've got the media unit set up here against this wall. This is the same setup that we had over in the other room. We really love this console table. It's really good quality, extremely heavy, and just a really beautiful piece from Article. All of these curtains, the blinds, the curtain rods, the clips, and everything I just left in here. These are the same ones that we had when this was set up as the boys' bedroom. And then this is also the same light. We were going to switch this out, but it matches everything in here perfectly, so we just left that up. And these are the same shelves, tree, and coffee table that we had over in the other room. We were going to put this coffee table here in front of the couch in the middle of the rug, but it just didn't quite look right. It felt a little bit crowded. So we decided to just do the ottoman and pull that up if we want some to put our feet on. And then we just put the coffee table over here to the side for now. That way we have something to put plates or drinks on. I left some of the same decor on these shelves and then added a few new items, um, just some decor that I had already in storage. And then over on the other side of the room is Jalen's little game room setup. He's got some awesome lighting going on in here. And then he just hung up that same game room sign that we had over in the media room above his computer. And that is also from Hobby Lobby. So he was able to use the same tabletop that he used for his other desk. He just didn't have to bring the legs over here because this tabletop was actually a perfect fit from wall to wall in this closet so he could just build it in underneath. So now it's just a nice floating desk and he's got plenty of room underneath. Okay so that is how this room turned out. We just kept it very simple in here only using items that we already had on hand and it just made for a really great little bonus room space. So we hope that you enjoyed this little room makeover and seeing us switch these two rooms in the last two videos. If you did give this video a thumbs up and thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in a couple days with a new video. Bye!